What's going on, everyone? My name is Kyle Harris, aka Racer Night 101. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do race number 25 to 36 of the NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mode West Play. I'm here at Darrington Raceway, run up of the Bojango Southern 500. And guys, once again, back to back, started on the pole, by the way. And I gotta say, we had a good race car, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We qualified on the pole once again. Trying to go back-to-back -back wins and seventh win of the NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mode West play. Can we do that? We're about to find out. So let's go racing in the legendary Too Tough to Tame, the Lady in Black at the Southern 500. So we're here at the legendary Darrington Raceway run-up of the Bojango Southern 500. And I gotta say, one of the crown jewel racing at the South Carolina racetrack of the legendary Darrington Raceway for the Southern 500. And I gotta say, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Qualified on the pole once again. Can we go back to back? And also, can we win the Southern 500? We're about to find out. Green flag run away of the legendary Southern 500 Darrington. What a great restart I have in turns number one and in lap number one in the Darrington race lay. That back straightaway right there, they used to be turn number four right there, ladies and gentlemen, way back in the day. And off turn three and four. Looks like I'm going to lead the first lap here in the Southern 500 and qualifying on the pole. Got a long race to go, by the way. So I'm pretty sure, hopefully soon, we're going to come down pit road to get tires to fuel. But but not right now, but still worry the race right now. Kyle Busch in second. He is the 2008 Southern 500 champion. So... Oh, yep, hit the wall right there. Oh, hit the wall again. That's a Darrington Stripe wall right there. If you hit the wall, that way you get a Darrington Stripe. Oh, Kyle Busch is trying to catch me up a little bit here. It's so early the race, ladies and gentlemen. It's early the race. Got a good turn, turns three and four right here. That was pretty good. Got a long way to go in, uh, in the Southern 500 in Darrington. Oh, hit the wall again. Yeah, a little bit of trouble here trying to go in the uh, turns right there. A little bit there. So battle for the lead, me and Kyle Bush right there, guys. So, me and Kyle Bush, Joey Wagano, Alex Bowman, and Kurt Bush around us up the top five. Got 22 laps to go here in Darrington. So, long way to go, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Still trying to pull away over Kyle Bush. So, I'm trying my best, though. There we go, We're trying to pull a lay a little bit here. We've got 21 to go though. Long way to go. Gotta stay starting on the pole. Car's been looking good. Always keep hitting the wall there, but that's okay. But it is what it is. Only um almost tenth tenths of a second over Kyle Bush. So I gotta say, car's been looking good. I'm gonna have to let off the throttle in turns three and four if, if I don't want to hit the wall, so we gotta be very careful though. 20 to go. And also, by the way, if wherever I come down on pit road very soon, I'm gonna have to be very careful because the pit road is gonna be tricky though, by the way. You know, the pit road is gonna be tri very tricky if wherever you come down on pit road. 
Unless if, if the caution comes out, that way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, car is a little bit tight there. Keep hitting the wall there, but... I gotta stop keeping hitting the wall, so... Still got, still got big lead over Kyle Busch, so we're okay. You probably guys remember way back in last year that um, Eric Jones won the Southern 500 for the second time. And the legendary 43 car won at Darrington last year. Oh man, that was amazing because the 43 car hasn't won that race since uh, back in 2014 when Eric Almirola won the race. And, um, and also the 43 car hasn't won at Darrington since um, Richard Petty in 1967 because last year... The, it was the 55th anniversary of Richard Petty's win at Darrington. And now 55 years later, last year, Eric Jones in the 43 won the Southern 500. And also, Rick Allen from NASCAR on NBC said, That is the 200th win for the 43 car. And I gotta say, that was awesome, by the way. The 200th win in the Richard Petty's number 43. I gotta say, that was insane. That was awesome. So, yeah. If you probably guys remember last year's uh, Southern 500, uh, Eric Jones won the race, and Kyle Busch blew an engine. I thought he had a great race car, and Kyle Busch um, uh, blew his engine because he was uh, he was in the lead last year, and he thought he was going to win the race, but yep, blew an engine right there. If you probably guys remember that race. I thought Kyle Busch would have won the Southern 500 because he had a good race car. Oh, just hit the back bumper up. Brandon gone right there. Yep, now I'm catching up the lot traffic up ahead, so. Night 15 to go in the Southern 500. Alright, I think maybe one more lap. I'll come down pit road, so. Oh yeah, that's where I'm coming out pit road right now because car's getting tight. All right, I'm coming out pit road right now. All right, I am coming out right now. Oops, slow down, slow down. There we go. And the caution came out. What in the world? So I was trying to come down to pit road, and then the caution just completely came out. All right. We're going to take two cans of fuel, four tires, and no repair. And we're see where we're going to end it up. All right. In, in the lead. That's what I need. Let's go. I thought we we're going to be starting all the way in the back. But unfortunately, we got a good pit stop going for the lead. And green flag back to the air. We got 11 laps to go in Darrington. I was about to say, because I should have go. I sure I was gonna start all the way in the back by the way, but unfortunately probably we got a fast pit stop and then um and yeah back to the lead once again. How about that? Alrighty. Now I'm now I'm gonna try to hold off the 2018 Southern 500 champion Brad Kislowski. Got 10 to go in Darrington. Got to stay. Trying to go back-to-back -back wins in 7th win. We're about to find out, but we got 10 laps to go right now, so. Chase Elliott's now in 3rd right now. How about that? Got to stay. It's been a dominating this race in the Southern 500. How about that, guys? Last race we dominated in Bristol, and now this time we, we probably dominated in Darrington. I gotta say, car's been looking great by the way, I'm not gonna lie. We had a fast race car now. We got Kiswowski in second, Chase Elliott third, Kyle Busch fourth, and Kevin Harvick rounds up the top five. So, gotta say, car's been fast all day, dominating this race. This is amazing, by the way, because it's going to be a, 
a fight for the playoff, well, fight for the championship till a couple of races away. So, don't know what the next race is going to be for race number 26, because next race will be the last race of the regular season and on to the playoff, by the way. Gotta say, what a fantastic race, by the way. Another dominating performance. Last race in Bristol, domination. Now this time, could be another domination, guys. How about that? Seven to go in Darrington. I was about to say, after when the caution came out, I thought I was going to start all the way in the back and work and fight my way to get back to the lead. But unfortunately... Came back, going for the lead, back, uh, forced me up to stay in the lead all day long. Got a fresh tires and fuel, a great pit stop. Car's been looking great, by the way. Trying to win for back-to-back -back wins and seventh win on the NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mo West play. We're coming six to go in Darrington. Yeah, we got a big lead over Brad Keselowski right now. Only, um, 2.5 tenths of a second over Brad Keselowski, so we're coming to 5 to go in Darrington, so... 5 to go! Got a great race car bodily, another domination car right there. Gotta say, gotta say, guys, we might have a chance to, uh, I don't know, until we get to the season finale very soon. We don't know when, but only a couple of races away, hopefully we got a chance to win a championship. But, it is, but yeah, only a couple of races away, by the way. But right now, but we're getting close to the playoff till the two races away will be the playoff. The next race will be the last race of the regular season. And yeah, and on to the playoff, by the way. Ten last of fuel, by the way. Can we make it on fuel? Oh, another Darrington stripe, because car is getting a little bit tight, but hopefully we can make it on hopefully we can make it this guys. Three to go in Darrington! Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't make any mistakes if, I, if my car doesn't spun, by the way, because game, car's getting, um, pretty sure I'm getting a little bit tight there because of the tires, so yeah. Catch now, who's that, Ryan Newman up there? Yeah, that's Ryan Newman. Two laps to go in the Southern 500, two to go! Oh no, that's Corey Wajoy, I thought it was, I thought it was Ryan Newman. So that was Corey Wajoy, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're catching up their lack traffic. We got a big, gigantic lead over Brad Keselowski, ladies and gentlemen. 4.1 tenths of the second over Brad Keselowski. And here we go, guys. Off turn 3 and 4. We're coming to the white flag. One lap to go. And the lady in black, too tough to tame in Darrington. Gotta say, a domination performance. Last race, we dominated in Bristol. And now this time, once again, we're dominating in the Southern 500. Down the back, straight away for the final time. And off turn three and four, we're going to win the legendary Southern 500 in Darrington. Back-to-back -back wins. And seventh win of the NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mo West play. And we won the Southern 500, guys. How about that? Wow, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? We have won the legendary Southern 500 in Darrington, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Another domination performance. Back to back wins. And 7th win of the NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mode West play. We're going to stop right here.
That was a lot of fun, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So I, so I get the win here at Darrington. So Brad Keselowski finishing second. Chase Elliott third. Kyle Busch fourth. Kevin Harvick top five. Kurt Busch sixth. Joey Vagano seventh. Danny Hammond eighth. Ryan Newman ninth. Rob a top ten as Alex Bowman. So we're going to look up the point standings right now. So, oh, look at that. That's the first caution right there since I came out on pit road. Still in second in the point standings, by the way. Seventh win. And it's time to go to victory to celebrate the Southern 500 champion. I gotta say, I gotta love the trophy, by the way. That's the Johnny Mance trophy. Yeah, we just won the Southern 500, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? We won in Darrington, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta say, I love that trophy, by the way. It looks pretty good. We're gonna see what the next race is gonna be, so we'll be right back. So the next race is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, can we go three in a row next race? And also, this is another Crown Jewel race because the Brickyard 400 is another Crown Jewel race. Can we go back-to-back -back Crown Jewel race win? Well, about to find out. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, by the way. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification, turn it on. If you guys are new on here, ladies and gentlemen, Ron Rolls with 2,000 subscribers very soon. I love you all to buy my heart. Don't forget to keep it rigid. Love you. Have a nice day. See you guys next time. Have an awesome day. See you guys soon. Keep it rigid. Have a great day.